of Vasil Lomachenko defeats Gary Russell Jr. with a 12-round majority decision to become world champion in only his third professional fight. Great achievement. Great achievement. It has to be said, he did lose to Orlando Salido in his second professional fight. But that's no disgrace to lose a close decision to a wily, dirty, experienced, crafty old veteran in your second pro fight when you're basically still an amateur. That's no disgrace at all. Most world champions in and around the weight class would lose to Orlando Salido in their second professional fight, in my opinion. So I don't really see that as a big black mark on Lomachenko's record. Now, as far as his fight with Russell Jr., I thought Lomachenko utilized his height, reach, and foot speed advantages extremely well to diffuse Russell Jr.'s speed advantage. Because he did have a speed advantage. Oh, hand speed advantage, sorry. Not foot speed, but hand speed advantage. So he used those attributes very well to diffuse Russell Jr.'s hand speed. And he also used excellent timing. Very, very good timing. And most professionals will tell you that timing beats speed. Used a good jab, good body shots, picking his punches very well. Russell Jr. was throwing a hell of a lot of punches, more than Lomachenko, but he wasn't landing clean for the most part. Very, very few of his shots actually landed clean. Most of them were blocked on arms and gloves. But Lomachenko was getting through with clean headshots, clean jabs, left hands, uppercuts, body shots, rocking Russell Jr.'s head back. And even though it was a majority decision, there's a fly pestering me right now. <laughs> Trying to get rid of it. All right. Even though it was a majority decision, few can complain about a judge's scorecards. Even Russell Jr. himself said it was a fair decision. So no problems there. Yeah, it was just a, a very, very good display of boxing by Lomachenko. And Russell Jr., a lot of people are going to say his lack of quality opposition hurt him. Maybe to some extent, but I think it's deeper than that with Russell Jr. I think the problem is his training setup, because even if he had more experience, that wouldn't take away the fact that he's always had flat feet. You know, that wouldn't take away that fact. The flat footedness that Russell Jr. has had in his previous fights, and uh, to a lesser degree in this fight, he did move more than we've seen him move before. But when you're not, not used to having to catch up to a very fast-footed opponent who's taller than you, you know, it's, uh, it's difficult to adjust in one fight. Very difficult. Because Russell Jr. is used to having guys come at him. And when they come at him, he can let off his shots, catch them with counters, set up his, set up his power punches. But against a guy who's moving around and messing him about, going, moving, you know, adjusting the range, going in and out, never allowing Russell Jr. to properly get set or set up any big power shots. It's very hard. It's very, very difficult. Yes, Russell Jr. was letting his hands go. But as I said, because of that movement, he wasn't able to set things up the, the way that he would like to or the way that he was able to against more stationary opponents. So Lomachenko fought pretty much the perfect fight. It was very impressive. Okay, Russell Jr., people are going to say he beat Russell Jr. for a, a vacant title. It's not as good as beating an established champion. But I think Russell Jr. will go on probably to be a world champion anyway. You know, we'll see. But at the very least, he was a very experienced amateur himself, Russell Jr., top amateur in the U.S. And he had a lot more professional fights than Lomachenko, albeit against fairly poor opposition. Still a lot more than Lomachenko had. Lomachenko was closer to an amateur in terms of experience than Russell Jr. So, it is what it is. As far as both of these fighters going forward, as I said, I'm not sure how much the hand problems affected Russell Jr. He always has hand problems in pretty much all his fights. Not sure how they affected him in this fight, how it affected him. But if he can control that hand trouble, I think he can have a decent career. 
I think he can become world champion and get some good wins under his belt. And I would certainly like to see him change trainers. He's, tra he's trained by his dad. Normally, father and son trainer situations don't work out that well, normally. Occasionally they do, but most of the time they don't. So I'd like to see him get a better trainer, someone that can teach him more things and improve his foot movement and foot speed. He's a short guy at the weight, so it's it's a possibility he could a possibility that he could always struggle against guys like Lomachenko. But if he's going to give himself any chance, if a rematch were to happen, I think he's going to need a new trainer. So that's Russell Jr. As far as Lomachenko, well, bright future for him. Bright future. There's a lot of interesting matchups to be made in and around that weight class. A lot of people are definitely going to be talking about a showdown maybe with Guillermo Rigondeau. That would be two of the best amateurs of all time going up against each other. A lot of people would like to see that. A lot of people, in fact, I'm sure actually will be picking Lomachenko to beat Guillermo Rigondeau if that fight ever gets made. Probably based on what they saw in the Russell Jr. fight. Even though Guillermo Rigondeau is a very different type of fighter to Russell Jr. Even though they're of a similar height, you know, dimension, dimensions wise, they're similar. Um, Guillermo Rigondeau is much more of a thinker. He doesn't throw as many punches. He's definitely more cerebral. He doesn't have hand problems. But at the same time, he's not much of a mover himself. Just like Russell Jr., he's not that active on his feet. Although I would say he's a better mover than Russell Jr. when he wants to. But uh, again, not, I, I don't think he has the foot speed of Lomachenko. But nonetheless, he's a different kind of fighter than Russell Jr. I'll be interested to hear what you guys think about that potential matchup. Lomachenko against Guillermo Rigondeau. Who would you pick in that fight? Who do you think would win? And where do you see Lomachenko and Russell Jr. going forward from here on in their careers? And how did you feel about the performance as well? Drop your comments in the comment section below. This is Hatman, I'm out.